Hello everyone, I'm Kristen at for PokerStars.tv. Now as you can see behind me, the stage is full of people and that is because we have come to the end of the 2011 World Series of Poker main event. Now we have a winner and I'm proud to say that it is the newest member of Team PokerStars. It's Pius Hines and he has taken down the WSOP main event for $8.7 million. Now, of course, we have been here over Sunday and today playing down to the winner. The Penn & Teller Theater has been electrifying these past couple of days. And so here's a recap of how the final table went down. The first elimination came 51 hands into play, and it was the short stack Sam Holden who fell to the hands of Ben Lamb after his dominated ace jack could not beat Lamb's ace king. Just a few hands later, Anton Mikievsky was knocked out in 8th place when his king-queen could not beat Pew's Hines pocket nines. Mikievsky was the first millionaire made from this final table. The next to go in 7th place was Bob Bunaro who handed over the last of his short stack to Martin Stasco. The 6th place finisher was also knocked out by Martin Stasco after being crippled in a hand against Ben Lamb. Ian O.D. ran into Stasco's pocket eights which held against O.D.'s queen six. The very next hand, Phil Collins shoved over Heinz's under the gun raise with ace seven suited, only to be called by Heinz, who held pocket nines. Dominated, Collins never improved and exited in fifth place. Only one more player needed to be eliminated at that point before play would end for the night, and it was Matt Giannetti who was knocked out in fourth place when he ran into Lamb's pocket kings. He pocketed over more than $3 million, and play ended for the night. Two days later, the three remaining players would resume play, but first, Team Poker Stars Pro Barry Greenstein and Lyndon Johnson were inducted into the Poker Hall of Fame. After Bruce Buffer gave the shuffle up and deal, there were fireworks the very first hand of three-handed play. Ben Lamb and Martin Stasco went to the races after a blind versus blind battle. Lamb's King Jack failed to improve against Stasco's pocket sevens and he was crippled. A few hands later, Lamb was eliminated and it was heads up between Martin Stasco and Pew's Hines. After hours of heads-up play and the chip lead moving back and forth between the players a number of times, Martin Stasko eventually finished in second place and he took home $5.4 million for his finish. And the winner, of course, was P.S. Hines for $8.7 million. Here's a little bit of what he had to say just after his win. All right, so you're the newest member of Team Poker Stars, and you're 22 years old. You've got an amazing bankroll now. <laughs> what's, what's the future look for you? First of all, I must say I'm really, really proud to be, be a member of Team PokerStars right now. I think PokerStars is by, by far the, the best and most reliable company in the industry. And I'm, I'm really, ha really happy to be a, a part of this great team. And um, yeah, I'm definitely going to play the circuit now, all the EPTs, you know, and I can't wait. So that's it from the 2011 World Series of Poker main event. We look forward to seeing much more from the newest Team PokerStars Pro, P.S. Hines. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Chris Turnett, and you're watching PokerStars.tv.